I don't know if it's related to the road we just drove down that shook us to pieces, but check engine just came up on the dashboard and the engine management light's on. We really could do without this in the middle of Slovakia. Guys, if you don't know who this is, this is Eddie, my 18 year old, and the pair of us are making our way down to Turkey in our motorhome. We've got three weeks to get down there before Lindsay and the other two join us. We've had a great couple of days in Prague and we're about to hit the road. We're off to Bratislava. I'm just topping up the water levels before we leave. But this campsite's been great for us. Um, the facilities aren't the best though. Probably one of the worst showers I've ever had is right here. But you know, it's just over 30 quid a night for the two of us in central Prague. So it can be forgiven for being in such a good location. Um, I don't think that's too bad, that. And Ubers in and out have been like four or five pounds. So it's been pretty good value. And of course the beers have been cheap in Prague, you know. So after a couple of days in Amsterdam and a couple of days in Prague, I asked Ed which one he prefers. And he said he prefers Prague. Why is that, Ed? I think there's a lot more history here and it's a lot cheaper. So there you go, you can understand why Brits come to Prague for a cheap weekend, um, or even for stag do's and stuff like that, because it is much, much cheaper in Prague. So I'm not sure where we are with statistics um, on the last video, but uh, let me tell you, we've done just over a thousand miles now. 1,042 miles covered in total. Um, travel time, 23 hours and 50 minutes. Um, average speed, 44 miles per hour. Um, and our fuel consumption is 25.2 miles to the gallon. Okay, let's head in the Lidl, do a bit of shopping. Chicken, what are you gonna cook with that? Uh, chicken and rice. Cool, he's much more of a chef than me. Right, 52 pounds on shopping, but to be honest with you, it's beer and water and a little bit of food, not much food. We need Lindsay to hurry up and come here and cook proper meals for us. You join me as I'm reversing way down a very small street. I didn't record none of this. But um, yeah, we're trying to find parking in Bratislava and it is proving a bit of a challenge. And I'm reversing this thing like a pro. There we go. Let's see if I can get out around here. Wow, okay, that was a challenge. Wish I'd caught that on camera for you. But there we are, we are at parking space number three and still not suitable. There's not many places to park in Bratislava for a big motorhome like this. And the odd one that is, is very expensive. So, what do you got for me, Ed? Find anything? I'll check back with you in a little while. See if we can find somewhere. Right, we found a park up, fourth time lucky in Bratislava. It's not very motorhome friendly. And some of the, some of the parks that we found on search sites and park for night were quite expensive um, for a car park and didn't even feel that good. Where we are now feels good. There are another couple of motorhomes here and it's free. So you can't beat that. So there we are, we're gonna literally have 24 hours in Bratislava, we're going to head out tonight and uh, get something to eat, get a few beers um, and see what it's like because we've driven through before and last time the weather wasn't good so we just wanted to check out Bratislava maybe see what their food's like, some of the local food but Slovakia as well, not done much holidaying in Slovakia have you guys been to Slovakia? Let me know in the comments. What's your thoughts of the country? You guys will know that I fitted a bear lock and a bear safe to this last year. It's been brilliant. So yeah, I can lock that into reverse gear and known full well that nobody's going to be nicking this right now. So it does give me peace of mind. Um, there will be a discount for you if you want to get one fitted yourself, guys. I'll leave a link in the description. This isn't sponsored. It's just been great. And also I have the safe underneath the seat for keeping our valuables like the laptops and stuff like that. They've been brilliant. Let's lock it in gear and go and get a beer. Okay, that park up looks suitable and we're comfortable with that. So we're heading into Old Town and it's about a 30 minute walk or a few quid in the taxi, but I don't mind. I like the walk now and again, a bit of exercise. Maybe we'll get a taxi back. But hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's a warm one, mind. 27 degrees. And apparently tomorrow we're hitting the 30s. Getting on it down here, aren't we? And we couldn't wait to Turkey. We found Schwarm already. Schwarm a bitter for five euros. And there we go, two shawarmas with all the trimmings, hey, enjoy it. So it's the Germany-Spain game is on and the bars are pretty full down there. So I think we're gonna head down there because they've just equalized to give them extra time. So head down that way, Ed? Yeah. So we found a cheeky little spot so we can see the game over there. So this is Kruskovis, or however you pronounce it. Um, not as nice as the white beers I've been having, but another thing to report, Ed's not getting asked for ID. In, in Slovakia, not in this country, no. In Amsterdam, yes, everywhere below and beyond that, no. Ed just noticed that we're in the embassy district and right in front of us we got the Georgia one and across the way we got the which one? North Macedonia. 
Luxembourg, Switzerland and Cyprus. There you go. Okay, we were charged 11 euros for two points at that place there, so quite expensive, especially from Bratislava, because we see it at two euro a point, so. But we've moved to the busy area and probably quite noisy. Two Jamo and Cokes, 17 euros. This isn't as cheap as Prague, not in, this, in the center here. So our night out in Bratislava was interesting. I thought it was going to be, as did Eddie, think it was going to be as cheap as Prague, if not cheaper. But in the center there, it's really rather expensive. Yeah, stick to Prague if you want value for money. And back to our van, but look across the way, and Morello's pulled in. Back to the van's good, but it's warm in here. I'm going to have to put the air con on, mate. It's a taste of what's to come when we go even further south. But yeah, it's not as warm as it's going to be, to put it that way. Let's put the air con on. There you go. And being able to run the air con while soft grid, it's beautiful. Okay, the battery's at 93%. Let's see what it's like in the morning. Ed, we keep getting comments. We need to hear your sidekick's voice and views. Now, we've mentioned it, he doesn't like to be in the videos that much, really, but try and give a little bit more, try and talk a little bit more for them, then, all right? Yeah, right. I don't know what to say most of the time, but yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ask him questions in the comments. There you go. But there we are. Eddie is, um, he's 18 and a half. He is trying to be a pilot right now, aren't you? He's trying to get into the Navy or the Air Force to be a pilot. And if not, he's going to go commercial, but he's got his mind set on it and he'll definitely get that done. But he's also really excited because he's going to Hong Kong, Thailand and Malaysia in just two weeks time. So he's excited for that, isn't he? Yeah, very, very excited. And who's been to Malaysia? I've already been there. Right. And the joke is that I never stopped banging on about it, but. <laughs> Absolutely, he keeps saying, well, it's not Malaysia, is it? And he's going back for the second time. So we'd love to go to Malaysia, wouldn't we? Brilliant. So yeah, we will try and get Eddie to talk more. It's not me just talking over him, he just doesn't like talking much on camera. Or in general. Or in general, yeah. <laughs> Good morning from Bratislava. Well, we had a great night's sleep last night. That was fantastic. This park up we found was ideal. Um, as I said yesterday, it is a challenge finding park ups. This was park up number four we went to, and the others just didn't feel right or were actually quite expensive. So definitely, if you come in, check this one out. I'll put a link in the description for this, guys. Um, Ed's gone for a wander this morning. We had a lazy start. We're enjoying lazy starts. I mean, we're on holiday at the end of the day. I've been doing video editing. I'm uploading video number two for you right now. Um, but out here this morning is beautiful. The sun's out. It really feels like, you know, we're on holiday. It's great. And we're parked just across the road for some offices there. And there's three guys, like Spider-Man, um, cleaning the windows, just dangling from, uh, from ropes there. Um, they seem happy enough to play in some music, cleaning the windows awesome so yeah we're gonna hit the road soon we are gonna move on to Budapest next um, we stayed at a campsite in Budapest last time we was here and took a wander into town so I think we're gonna do that I'm gonna head for that same campsite hopefully they got some space for us um, and top up these batteries as well we did use quite a bit of battery power I think we're down to about 40% didn't have the aircon on all the night last night but I had it on quite a bit and then again this morning so yeah batteries could do a replenishing which they will do with the solar and when i'm driving anyway but once i'm plugged into the site that will top them back up to 100 percent. so yeah get a bit of breakfast and then we'll hit the road in a minute so i bought a new brush a new uh, window cleaning brush with uh, with this bit in here for the flies and i've just given it a go and it works a treat getting them flies off with this bit here so perfect we'll be able to see again there you go good as new and i've just noticed something here this one is on a double cab look I've never seen that before. Fantastic. So a camper with a double cab. It's proving very handy to have our Eddie filling up fuel again for me. Right, we're in Slovakia and we've topped up the fuel again. We weren't completely empty this time, um, but he's put 70 litres of fuel in. It's come to 108.93 um, in euros, which is coming out at 92.38. So not too bad. Again, Slovakia and Hungary do have um, vignettes that are needed. And again, if you're over three and a half tonne, it's a pain. Um, so we're enjoying the country roads, to be honest with you. We're just staying off the motorways. You only needed it, the vignettes if you're using the motorways, the toll roads there. So we are taking the scenic route. And this journey's taking just over an hour longer this way today. But we're seeing more of the country. It does get boring driving on them motorways. So yeah, that's how we are uh, tackling the vignette situation in these countries. So the scenic route is much more scenic, but the roads, they're awful. I don't know if you can hear that rattling around, even with my air suspension. 
the whole van is rattling and I'm literally doing 35 mile an hour. Oh, so more scenic, but terrible roads. This has got to be one of the worst roads I've ever driven on, and that's saying something. And back onto a smooth road again. Oh, this feels fantastic compared to what we've just driven through. Right, I don't know if it's related to the road we just drove down that shook us to pieces, but check engine just came up on the dashboard and the engine management light's on. We really could do without this in the middle of Slovakia. Fortunately, I got the Carly with me. Now this is not a sponsored video, guys, but you remember I did one a few, uh, a few weeks back. So let's plug this into the ODB port, connect it up to the phone and see uh, if we can work out what's wrong with this engine management light. So I've plugged Carly in and it's now scanning the car to see why that engine management light has come up. And it's come up with five um, issues. Uh, four of them are just body control modules, nothing to worry about. But it has got a system issue here, which says P0807. Um, if I look for more information on that, it tells me it's a clutch A position sensor. That's what the problem is. So it could well be that when we were going down that bumpy road, um, the uh, the position sensor for the clutch may have been knocked or, or or what have you. So I'll keep an eye on this. I don't think there's anything to worry about too much, but if I do go past the Fiat garage, I might pop in and have them take a look at it. But it seems to be fine. The clutch seems to be fine. It seems to drive okay. So at least we can carry on our journey. Um, I thought I'd better do a proper update because I've been filming little bits here and there and um, there's just not been much to film. I am stuck at home doing the same old bits and pieces, running the business, um, doing the school runs, cooking, cleaning, although one thing I have learned, so I've learned some things over this last week. <laughs> the first is the majority of the mess from this house is from Steve. Definitely, I've had to do way less tidying up and cleaning for definite. So that's been nice. Um, the downside is he is, my how do i put this he is the man who brings excitement to my life and i have realized while i've been here this week that there ain't no excitement <laughs> no it's not been bad i have also had to make decisions decisions to slow down and just double check that my i'm not properly injured after the car crash um but it's been tricky because my friends all work during the day yeah so it's been me on my own, stuck in the house with the fitters. I also can go out because the, the kitchen fitters. In terms of the kitchen, we're almost there. All the cabinets are in, all the appliances in. We've just got a few little tweaks with lighting and trim. And we're just waiting for an email from Kitchen House to explain exactly how we're going to get over those issues. Um, so that's, that's where we are with the kitchen. I have chosen the new floor. And that should be going in next weekend. So that's exciting. There's something good to look forward to. But I've made a decision today. I am done with being stuck at home. I haven't got the fittest to be in for. The kids don't care whether I'm here or not. They're off doing their own things. So I'm going to go to the spa. And I'm going to have a full body massage and some exfoliation. And I'm just going to have a bit of a pamper this afternoon and treat myself to something lovely. Right, if you can hear the fan noise, that's because the aircon's on, because it's bloody hot, so <laughs> do excuse me. But we've just uh, arrived um, in Hungary and into Budapest, and we've checked into Halle Camping, which is uh, right in the centre of uh, Budapest, really, so um, it's ideal. We stayed here quite a few years ago, um, and it was just under 35 quid for the two of us for one night. Sounds expensive, 17,000 half, but it's 36.86 for the camping there. Um, right. We uh, have got to get this video uploaded for tomorrow. Um, that's my plan now. It's been slowly uploading all day. How is it, Ed? You're 45%. It's still only 45% on the Starlink. It's been going up all day. So if you don't get one tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, it's going to be probably Sunday afternoon then, I'll play if it ain't getting up in time. We're going to shower now and then head into Budapest because the football's on tonight. Right, Ed's plugged the electric in. Yes, what was you saying about electric, Ed? Uh, it's the first time I've had to use the two-pin adapter. Right, gotcha, that we brought with us, so fantastic. Thanks, buddy, go and enjoy your shower. So here we are, Halle Camping. We're waiting outside uh, the campsite for the Uber right now, which isn't a cheap one. It's about a tenner, you said, Ed? Uh, yeah. But last time, we walked into town, walked around, 
and then we walk back. I mean, it's about 40 minutes just to get in there and 40 minutes to get back. So I do like walking, but I think I walked everyone's legs off last time, did I, Ed? Yeah, it's too hot now. Anyway. It's too hot now, it's like 32 degrees. So. so we'll get the Uber in and see if we can find somewhere to watch the game. Yay, here he is. Okay, let's get in. Okay, that taxi driver wasn't happy I was filming when I got in his car, so we won't use any of that footage. But um, yeah, he's dropped us off in town and we found a Mexican restaurant that is showing the game tonight. That's one possibility, but we're just going to check out another. What have we got, Ed? Uh, well, we're going to the park first, the main square. The main square in the park, see if they're showing it there. Hey, who's your mate? <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, it looks like we found the place to watch the game, eh? This looks like it. Big screen up there. Beer. Beer? Perfect. So you may have seen that Ed's got a bit of an appetite recently. So he's off with his first one. He's got a burger and chips. Awesome. been a bit of a lazy morning uh, this morning put a video out and uh, you're enjoying that so that's good um, I should show you around this campsite before we leave really although it's a bit quiet out there so bear with if I whisper so this is our pitch and I've had the induction hob out this morning and we've put the mocha pot on there this morning and sat out here and had a lovely lovely relaxing time um, the sun's out now but we've been in the shade it's getting a bit hot now there are a few vans here I'd say there's probably enough room for kind of maybe 50 or so vans here. And there's also an area over here where they have tents. Reception here. Lovely little communal area here. And right here there's a kitchen where you've got the hobs and microwave and even a fridge you can make use of. And a little barbecue here. And around here you've got washers and dryers and a couple of sinks. And again another little communal area to eat and what have you here. Then you've got the showers and the toilets. You've got three showers through here. Then you've got some urinals here and you've got some toilets there. They're ample, but there's two sets of those for gents and for ladies. And then you've got an outside washing up area here and chemical toilet waste over here. And there's your prices right over here. Inexpensive, I think, for being the center of a city. I think it's pretty good value. And back to the van. We all good, buddy? Ready to hit the road? Okay, we're pretty much packed up. Electric is the last thing we're going to unplug now. We're fully charged. We've had the aircon on. That's well needed. Um, but today, we wasn't going to drive so far today. Um, my original plan stop for today uh, was going to be Timisora. But Ed reckons if we actually uh, miss that one and drive straight to Sibiu, 
I'm not pronouncing these right, I know. Um, it's going to be about five, five and a half hour drive and we'll put another day in the bank that we would prefer to spend in somewhere like Greece or Istanbul or in Turkey or something like that. So I think we're going to skip my original plan and do a sh two short days of driving and do a long day of driving today. After a day yesterday going for a pamper, I have pretty toes and relaxed muscles, which is very good. Um, I also had really oily hair when I was done because she did a head massage as well. That was nice. And today we've been to the Three Trees for our lunch. It's Sunday, so we have decided, no, I've decided that I fancy a roast dinner and it doesn't seem like a lot. <laughs> seems like far too much effort to cook it just for the three of us because I've got nothing in the house anyway. So we've popped to the Three Trees because this is the one that on Facebook everyone recommended the most. It's owned by our good friend Big J, who also owns the smokehouse that we went to recently. And their reputation for carving is very good. It's hot, thank goodness for air conditioning. Goodness me, it's 32 degrees today. So we are got proper weather now. But we've had a lovely time chilling this morning um, at the van and outside. And you know what? I didn't feel like filming much of that, you know? I was just having a nice chat and a coffee this morning and just chilling out and it's good. It's good. But we're going to hit the road now. We are going to drive the Transvan Garrison. And it's the last of the big um, European roads that I've not driven yet. And Clarkson reckons it is the best driving road in the world. So we'll find out. So that's been Bratislava and Budapest. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Bratislava and Budapest and uh, the kind of things that you've been to see. Because when we come back, we certainly want to spend more time doing things here. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. And if you have, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.